Hey everyone, welcome to the Classic Game Couch. It's just me today for now, uh, Brett, and we're going to start the new series, Faxanadu. A um, little quick background on this while we've got the title screen up. Uh, we're going to jump back to 1988 with a lovely game that uh, takes me right back to my childhood. This is one of those games that was always very near and dear to me. So uh, as you can see from the title screen art, there's a giant tree that has pretty much the whole world on it and all these different towns. And there's been a problem where uh, for the elves at the bottom, the water in the wells has started to dry up. So basically you're sent on a mission by a king to uh, essentially save the world. So uh, we're going to go ahead and select start. And here we go walking the road. We'll find out what the king wants from us more specifically. So pulling on down and as you can see no waterfalls running any of that stuff and as I move a little bit I've been on a long journey I came back to my hometown to find it was almost deserted the gate is closed the people are gone and the walls are crumbling I wonder what happened well I do wonder I know I don't have much for armor and as you can see taking a look at me I've got this sweet long hair going on in the back <laughs> and I'm gonna do a little punch here what you're seeing in front of my fist is actually the doors in this game and some of them can be extraordinarily hard to see so press up to go in and you see there are a lot of townspeople wandering around we can talk to them like this one saying I want you to see the king right away although you've just arrived fantastic you want me to see the king there are many different doors we can stop in and many people to talk to. Like here we've got a merchant that can sell us, you know, fish and food. Come out of there. And the next one here we've got just a family hanging out just to get information from. You know, she says, listen to the people. You'll only get frustrated if you just walk around. And then, uh, the dwarves are robbing the elves money and jewelry. <laughs> So that guy's just grumbling about dwarves, basically. Out here, she says this is the elf town of Eolus, so that's our town. It's located at the bottom of the world tree, and the elves live here. Go to see the guru before you see the king. So the guru is going to be here inside this church. We go see him, he's doing his thing up here by the altar, so... If you are going to see the king, take this ring. This ring will identify you. Don't lose it. So I get the ring of elf. And then I say bye to that guy. Wander out. I've got my identification ring. In here we've got a couple more uh, shops and merchant idea things that we can upgrade ourselves, but we don't need them yet. We'll talk to you know this guy just chilling on the bridge also grumbling that the dwarves are already in town and it looks like the end is near so all he needs is to hold up the sign that the end is near and here are our first enemy little spike shell guys ow that one hurt me gotta get used to the jumping in this game uh took it again can i oh and then i get hit spike stabbed in the foot some of these jumps are hard but don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. That's the password system in this game. The guru will give you this extraordinarily long password. One of those passwords from the old days that's just so obscenely long to try to put in. So let's see if we can make the jumps now. Uh, well, I got one of them. Jumping in this game was always tricky and you have to be kind of precise on it. But we got by both sets. And here we are, got a couple more things happening. This guy will give us magic if we pay him up. This guy in here, he'll teach us martial arts. So, things we can do to get magic and energy stuff back, and we can buy fish. But we need to be here. The king is waiting for you. Well, good chat, buddy, thanks. Come up and see the king. The king will stand up for us. Let's have a chat. Glad you could come. Disaster has befallen us. The elf fountain water, our life source has stopped. The wells are drying up. 
many men went out and nobody came back. You are our last hope. I shall give you 1,500 gold. Because reasons. Prepare for your journey with this money. It will be a dangerous journey. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'm going to sit back down. <laughs> okay, so the king gave us 1,500 gold. We walk away. He has a seat. And now we're $1,500 richer. So what we're going to do here is kind of wander in. I'll just show you what's going on with these guys. So we'll see the martial arts person. And he's like, do you want a martial arts lesson? And yes, everybody's eyes will be blinking like that. It's kind of ridiculous. So I take the martial arts lesson. It fills my energy back up. I could do the same thing next door with the magic guy, but we're full. Because after we die, it refilled us. Make some exquisite jumps again. I missed one already. Perfect. Good thing I just filled my energy because, you know, I wanted to lose that same notch again. And now we come here. These are the merchants I really wanted to get to. We'll see this guy. Hello. I sell jewels. What would you like? Well, I come here to buy. What would you like? I'll take this dagger so I get a weapon. Thank you for shopping. So, in here, I'm going to continue to buy things. Unfortunately, you can't just buy everything you need at once. You have to actually go back through each of these lines. The red potion gives me power. The elixir fills up the power and magic. And then I need this deluge, because that uses the magic and will kind of send this flying ball out that will help us. So, it's a good weapon. So, I've got the deluge. I've got that. So, I'm going to go out here. Let's get it equipped. Weapon. I'll put the dagger in hand. And now, ya ya, Got a weapon. Armor. Still nothing. Shield. We don't have anything but magic. Now, I've got the deluge. So, now if I press up and B, it should whip out a giant spinning deluge ball of disaster but I've got the knife so I can at least start stabbing at things but unfortunately I'll show you here in a minute but I also need this key of J to get out of here and this guy just <laughs> look, looking like the coolest he's like sup hello I sell keys what would you like well what do you like well I would like that key of J just, just sitting there smoking up in a white t-shirt. Ah, oh, keeping it classy in Eolus with that. Just, just smoking up in the shop making keys. I'm loving it. It's hilarious. Now you can see I can't actually reach these things, but if I go up and B, I use my magic to throw out deluges, and now I picked up bread. So if I get hungry or take damage in this case... I can use that uh, bread to help heal me, so that's why that deluge is handy, because I can't always reach everything at the bottom. I could stop in and get a mantra right now, but a little early for that, and I don't need to, so I'm going to just keep wandering over to the right, because I know that's where we have to go. And then there's this thing. He looks like he's got an octopus head. Take him out with the deluge, and there we go. Picking up coins. So here, again, the hard-to-see doors. Push up. There is a mark of Jack by the keyhole. So, now, go to my item, select the key of J. Now I've got it up in the upper right, as you can see. Press up, and boom, we can use it. So I use the key, and here we go. So I'm just going to get stabby on this... Ow, that guy got hurt on me. Stepped up, and he lost. So this little dagger is actually a really shitty weapon to try to use, but the deluge is super helpful. Get a little distance on these guys, bring them down, and there there is a notable amount of farming you have to do in this game to get wep or to get more coins and weaponry. Gold is a serious commodity, so I want it, I need it. Try to get these guys down here, and like I said, it's it's a lot of farming. I trying to get their timing down. I like to conserve as much magic as I can, because you can see how quickly it goes down. But if you can get these things taken care of you'll pick that up and uh now we come to this fun little 
Did I say fun? Yeah. The section where you gotta climb the ladders is always a good time. But anyway, when I was a lot younger, I logged many, many hours into this game and have actually beaten it before. But it has been so long, I, I can barely remember some of this, so... It, it looks familiar as... Oh... Well, I remember that shit. People can fall off the edge, and that's right. These things, if you kill one, it doesn't matter. It will respawn, but if you get knocked off to the side like that, have fun, come back and do it again, and whatever energy you lost didn't matter. <laughs> I remember these goofy guys. <laughs> these water around. You're gonna get stabbed, dude. Come here. get stabbed in your one eye. Alright, so as you can see as we go up here, there are other doors we can go in, little spots as we move along. And then we got this guy. Well, hello again. He's all over the place. He, you know, can teleport to all his shops. No, he can't. So what would I like? Well, a shield seems real good. This is actually much better. So that's really good magic, this death ball when you throw it out. Like, literally, as it's called, it's just, they just named it Death. So, things we need to have, but I don't have the cash for it, because clearly 7,600 and 12,500 versus the 931 that I have. So I don't have the money for that yet, and that's where I was saying there's, there's a notable amount of farming that goes on in this game, so. Oh, that guy didn't even give me anything. So, can't, can't afford any of those goods yet, so that's why I'm trying to save my money. And there are, like I said, different options about things you can do, places to go, things to see. But you kind of run around in those little bouncy guys. They make it easy to farm. So here we head into another town pretty quickly. See what the folks have to say. There are dwarves all over the Tower of Trunk. Go out of the town, turn right, and go straight. Then you'll find the Tower of Trump. And you gotta love how they, you know, keep calling all the parts of the tree out. Here's our guy again. But you'll notice that they just sell different, different stuff in each of these shops as you go through. So you have to go back to the one that has what they have. And right now there's not really much that I need. Um... Potions here are more expensive, and like I said, as you progress, you'll find that out. They're like, oh, we can just, you know, get more money out of everybody. For now, I think I'll take a small shield, just so I have a shield. Thank you for shopping. No, 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 thank you. So I try not to spend a lot of money on things I don't need. Whoops, hitting the wrong... Stop pausing the game. Armor. No armor. How about I hit the right button? Shield I would like, though. So I've got myself a small shield. So now, got a little little bit of protection going. And in here we got the key shop again. <laughs> I love how they're all basically the same person, just different in every area. So what would I like? Well, I need another key of J. Except I can't afford a key of J right now. So, come down and hit the saloon and see what they've got going on. Here in the bar. If you have the Matic, you can break the wall. But if you don't have it... But if you don't have it, eh, maybe you can still break the wall. The Matic should be in the tower. You can get it by defeating a dwarf. So, I'll give you three guesses what they want me to go and do. And... That's kind of how this game works. They'll, they'll spoon feed you a lot of the necessary items like that. There is the town of Fourpaw ahead of you. Alright, good chat. We come in, then we've got the guru here again. So, we can talk to him. I do need peace of mind, let's meditate. There we go. So, here's a long, strange password, which is fine. That gives me, you know, password to get back to where I am here, which is not all that far at the moment. Now we've got the, you know, Red Cross symbol right there. So, you know, the universal medical thing. So, nice little situation going on there. 
Watch out for the jar of poison. Oh, watch out for the jar of poison! The poison will take your energy away! I don't do good girl voices, sorry. <laughs> she, she looks a lot different when you talk to her in person versus whatever that is running around. Let's see what the doc has to say. Uh, you want treatment? 250. 250 golds. This is not enough gold. <laughs> it's, uh... No real Hippocratic Oath going on there, is there? Just, you don't have the money? See ya. Yeah. What can you do? You can carry eight items. They are all important. Choose well. How does he feel about dwarves? Did you lose the Guru's mantra? The mantra will return you to this world. Hold on to the mantra. Translation. Write this long password down. That's what they do. So, now we're out and about from that town. Got... Ah. Sit down. Alright, money. That's what we need. I gotta get the money. This is actually a decent spot to farm for gold. Because you, you get a decent amount. But you come back and it's basically hit both sides to get... Ugh. And when I was younger, I remember, you know, a couple of my tricks for basically just going back and forth, trying to get them to respawn, drop the coins, do it again, you know, over and over. But it gets harder when you run out of magic, so a lot of that was, you know, take these things down, farm a little gold. Won't do it too awful long here, because ah, that spiky thing I can't reach, though. But it, it's, it's not real easy to do right, right now. Because with this little short dagger, I need to actually get a sword so I can start really farming some money and get back and get that death. But right now they're like, yeah, go after the Matic. So I've got enough money here. I'm going to go back and get myself healed in town. Get get magic and all that fun stuff and try not to die. And Assuming I can make it. Take out there. Blue guy's gone. Let's go back into town. Get treated. <laughs> Will you treat me now that I have money, Doc? Gee, thanks. T don't try too hard. <laughs> it's basically like, alright, see ya. Okay, so now I'm filled back up. And this, this is kind of what it was. It's just get through, get, get yourself healed up. Come back here, grind out some more coins, and for the damage you take, you'll have to use a little bit to get yourself back. But for this, though, we're going to actually kind of keep pressing on, because I, I know I can get more money later in different spots. But that early on in the game, having that death real early makes, makes some of the other enemies and boss battles just ridiculously easy, just because you can take care of take care of them with, you know, those death shots. They take a lot of magic, though, too, so. And there we are. Get off my bread. <laughs> okay, so. We've got the Mark of Jack by the keyhole. So, I have to go back, get myself the Jack key that I didn't have enough... <sighs> and the game is a little cheap like that. You'll go running, you'll be on a pace, and then it's like, poof, here's this thing. And it's super annoying. And getting knocked back like that into the other screen. Also annoying. So, that's why I end up, you know, spending magic I generally don't want to. It's to survive not getting knocked out of the screen, because it's pretty obnoxious to have to refight something when they get all their health back. Because of a couple cheap shots. Alright. So back into town, let's get the key of Jack. Find the key guy, there he is. <laughs> Don't you expect to just see, like, a pack of cigarettes rolled up, like, in his left sleeve? <laughs> don't, don't, don't you just, don't you just think that, that suits him? 
Yeah. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe it's because his eyes are constantly half closed like he's just baked out of his mind. One way or the other. So now we're gonna go back and make our way make our way over to that key of key of jack door. Ourselves a little bit of cash on the way. Come on, guy. Oh, look at this hoppy pattern. What I really need to do is get a long sword because when I can get that, I don't have to waste magic shooting these spiky things on the ground. I can actually reach them with the long sword. But the dagger, there, there's no way to actually kneel down in this game, so you, you have to deal with it from the position you're in, which that's one of the tricks of this game is, you know, being ready for position. So, all right. We're chilling out at the door here. We're going to call this one episode for now, guys. So, uh, again, appreciate everybody. You've been following us with our Facebook page and on the uh, YouTube site itself. So, again, keep coming with those shares, likes, and subscribes through YouTube and through Facebook. Really appreciate it. It's been helping us out. And I'll catch you in episode two where we go in this door and see what's happening. See you then.